In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can get the selective color look in Infinity Photo. Now, this look was made pretty famous by Black Paris. You can see that their whole brand is based on monochromatic colors, so basically just black, as well as just usually one tone of like some sort of warmer color. So for example, like this fireplace here, everything is desaturated except for the fire itself. Another example is skin tones, so they will maintain skin tones, but then desaturate everything else in the image. So we are going to try and recreate this look in Infinity Photo. So to start out, I'm going to import the photo that we will be using today. And this is a raw photo from Signature Edits. And I will be sure to leave a link in the description if you guys want to check it out. But because it is a raw photo, it has opened up in the develop persona here. So we're just going to make some basic corrections before we get into the actual color grading part. So basically all I'm going to do for corrections is come down into our shadows and our highlights here. I'm going to increase the shadows a little bit as well as decrease the highlights quite a bit just to give us a nice base to work with so we have a lot more room to play around with when we actually get into color grading. And then I'm going to increase the clarity just a little bit as well as bring down the saturation and bring up the vibrance just ever so slightly. If you guys want a more in-depth tutorial on how to color correct your photos, I do have a tutorial that you can check out. But now that we've made those adjustments, I'm just going to come up and hit develop and then we can start actually working on the actual look that we are going for here. So the first adjustment I'm going to make is going to be a curves adjustment. And then you can add that by either coming up into your adjustment panel if you have that opened. You can come down to adjustments in the layer panel and then select curves. Or you can even just hit Control M on your keyboard and that will create a curves adjustment layer. So now for this, all I'm going to do is create two points, one in the highlights and one in the shadows. I'm going to bring down the highlights just a little bit and then I'm going to bring down the shadows quite a bit here. And then something else we can do is we can actually take our black point here and you can either fade out the blacks by bringing it up a little bit. Or in this case, I'm actually going to bring over the blacks a little bit just to kind of crush them just a little bit like that. And I think this is a good starting point with our curves so we can see the before and the after of that. We just kind of added a little bit of contrast and brought down the shadows quite a bit. And now the next adjustment we're going to add is going to be an HSL adjustment. So I will come in and add that to our layers panel. And this is where the bulk of the look is actually going to come from. So like I said before, this look involves taking every color and desaturating them except for one color of your choosing. So in my case here, I'm going to choose that the red color here is going to be the color that is going to show through because we have a little bit of red in the path as well as any skin tones and a little bit in the trees up here. So I'm going to start taking all of the other colors starting out with magenta here, going into blue, then we have our cyan, the green, and then our yellow. And as you can see, we have desaturated all of those. And now all we are left with is our red hue. And then with this red hue, I'm actually going to increase the saturation just a little bit. So it stands out just a little bit more. And then if you want, you can even adjust the hue just a little bit. So I'm going to shift it just a little bit towards the right to change the color of it ever so slightly and make it stand out just a little bit more. And then we can start messing around with the luminosity of each of the different colors. And this is where you can take a little bit of your own creative freedom and make this look really your own. To start out with our reds here, you can mess around with these. I think I'm going to increase the luminosity just a little bit in that. Then I will come into the yellows and then I will bring down the luminosity of the yellows until a point I'm happy with. And then we'll just keep going down the line of colors here and adjust the luminosity of them until we get something that we like. So for the greens, I'm actually gonna bring them up a little bit because I like the way it looks in the trees. Come into our cyan, and then I'm actually gonna bring the luminosity down for the cyan just to bring a little bit of detail back into the sky and into the trees. And we'll come into the blue, and then because he has some blue in his pants and in his hat here, I'm gonna increase the blue a little bit so that he stands out a little bit more from the background. And then I don't think there's actually any magenta in this photo, or at least none that is showing up in here. There's a little bit in the trees, but it's really not affecting much, so I'll just bring that down. And I think that is a pretty good stopping point for the HSL adjustment here. And now, as you can see, we pretty much have a completed look here, and you could stop here if you wanted, but I'm actually going to add a selective color to this as well. And then with my reds selected here, I'm going to adjust those and just kind of shift around the color balance of the reds like that. So you can see the before, and the after of that. And then one thing I'm kind of noticing here is it looks like 
The skin tones here are just a little desaturated towards the ends here. So something we can do to fix that is come into our HSL adjustment layer here and add a mask to it. And then with our brush selected by pressing B and make sure you have a black color selected here, we can paint onto that mask to make sure that that HSL adjustment layer is not affecting the skin tones at all here. So now you can see the before and the after of what we did there. It's a really subtle effect, but I do think it helps to make sure that the skin tones aren't appearing unnatural. And you can do this with any other colors as well. So for example, if we wanted his hat to show through, we could actually paint in black over his hat as well, and we can get that blue back into his hat. So feel free to do this with any sort of different colors or objects that you want the color to still show through in your scene. But for now, I'm just gonna undo that and just make sure that the skin tones are being affected and nothing else. And then I will zoom back out by pressing Control zero. And so with that, we pretty much have a completed look here. And we can always come back into any of these and adjust them how we want. So for example, we can actually take our black point here and we can actually see how it would look if we wanted to fade out our blacks just like that or if you wanted to keep them crushed, it is completely up to you and your own creative vision of how you want your photos to turn out. For me, I'm going to keep it the way I had it, because I like the sort of punchiness of the look. But with that, I would consider this a completed look. So you can see the before and after of everything we did here. So we added our curves to add a little bit of contrast. Then we did our HSL adjustments to desaturate every color except for the reds. And then we did our selective color here to kind of make the reds stand out just a little bit more. And like you saw earlier, I adjusted the reds in the selective color because that is the color that I chose in the HSL. But if you chose a different color, you can just come into the drop down here and affect the different colors that you chose to show through. But that is completely up to you on how you want to adjust your photo. But that pretty much does it for this video. If you guys like this video, please consider liking and subscribing. I hope you guys have a great day. See ya.